a beautiful Sabbath day to you all. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let us appreciate and continue to read this information shared by J.A. Wiley in his book, Jesuitism. Our Father in heaven, I pray that you will bless us today with your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Chapter 16, Resuscitation of the Order and Renewal of Their Plots. We have seen the Jesuits suppressed. For how long? Forever, said the bull of Pope Clement XIV. Not for a year, not for a century, but for eternity. And the monarchs of the popish world, thinking that they have seen the last of these troublers of Europe, re-echoed the eternal of the pontifical bull in the sentence of banishment, which they severely passed against the sons of Loyola. But though cast out like dogs, as one has said, the Jesuits grow young again like eagles. Sorgimos flores totes cadendo, according to Balde. The eternal of the papal bull lasted only till 1814. Even during the 40 years that the bull was in force, there's a good ground to conclude that the Jesuits had passed out of sight only, not out of existence. Uh, during the second half of these 40 years, the awful tempest of the French Revolution had been shaking Europe. On every side was heard the crash of thrones and altars. It was these ter terrors, rather than the bull of Clement, which kept the Jesuits in their hiding places. They sought shelter in the caves and dens of the earth from the wrath of him who sitteth on a mightier throne than that of the pontiff. Well, when the storm had passed and Rome again opened her gates to receive her pope, the fallen altars of papal Christendom were set up as aforetime and the Jesuits as necessary adjuncts were invited to come abroad and show themselves in the light of day. Pius VII, by a bull dated 7th, August 1814, formally restored the order. They were not only revived, they were revived in greater power than ever. The Pope judged that the Jesuits were the agents, the times and the work to be done specially needed. Pius VII leaned upon them, and the jealousy which had hitherto existed between the order and the papal chair was henceforward at an end. In an incredibly short time, they overspread Europe. Their colleges and schools arose in the various countries, and their swarms were multi or further multiplied by the for formation of sodality such as St. Vincent de Paul, Brothers of the Christian Doctrine, the Malaita of Jesus Christ, and numerous other fraternities and sisterhoods which affiliated with the Jesuits and working under their direction vastly strengthen their influence. The power of the Roman church is now in their hands, and by a thousand instrumentalities, they touch the springs of human affairs and bring about startling events. Without the world's knowing whence have proceeded the phenomena that surprise, perplexed, and destructed. We'll continue reading the next paragraph. May God have mercy upon us, and his son be gracious to us in 